What's in your pockets, guys? It's your Average Gear Reviewer here, back again with another Friday Night Pocket Dump for you. Oh, yeah. If you're not familiar to the series, guys, this is where we uh, I'm going to go through and I'll show you what all I've been carrying this week. Um, I'll show you all my on-body carry and I'll show you, uh, tell you what I'm carrying and tell you a little bit about it. Uh, so without further ado, let's get over to the bench. Welcome to Average Gear Review. But the best gear is the gear you have on. Okay, guys, so we're here at the bench. And what I'll do is I'll stand up and I'll just show you go from left to right, everything that I'm carrying. And uh, then we'll do a top down view and I'll tell you a little bit about everything. And there are a couple of changes this week. So, yeah. Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and take off the Tick Watch. You guys know I always have the Tick Watch Pro on me. And oh, uh, malfunction there. Sorry. Okay. And uh, in the left pocket, we have the Lighter Bro Pro. As always, the I Mini 2. Wear it on the chain around my neck. And if you guys have watched any of the videos before, you know this is not new stuff. Uh, all this stuff I've had on me. Or I've been carrying a little bit, so not any nothing new yet, but uh, we'll get there. And uh, oh, like oh, Hank, gotta ha always have a Hank on you, especially if you uh, wear glasses or for your electronic devices, stuff like that. Um, in the back pockets, there is something new, and it's the Fidelo Minimalist Wallet. And uh, I've just got I've got a review coming out on this. Probably will be out later tonight, so be looking for that one. Still carrying the Remet Rhino right now. And uh, again, I've got a review coming up on that one too, probably here in a day or two. So be on the lookout for that one as well. Uh, oh yeah. You guys know if you've seen any of my videos lately, repping the uh, Pocket Platform by Nifi King. Gotta love that. Uh, another thing that we have new this week, I got, um, I've got a video coming out on this one too, guys. Sorry. A lot of new stuff here, but uh, this is the Huao. And I don't know the name of the knife, but it is basically a copy of the Tour Anaconda. And I'm carrying it here in a sheath, actually underneath my belt. Um, that's a little tip that I picked up from John Lovell, the Warrior Poet. Shout out to Warrior Poet Society. Uh, and, uh, oh yeah, of course... Got a little bit something different in my waistband this week. I am carrying the Chinique, or as most people pronounce it, the Canic TP9 with the uh, Olight Balder BL. So that is the blue laser. Cool. This thing looks like uh, something out of a science fiction novel. And uh, I'm carrying this one in another gun and flower holster. This one just has a regular clip on it. Because of the weight of this pistol, I don't. it doesn't tend to move around on me nearly as much. Um, so, you know, I normally carry the Taurus G2C, but uh, I have the ulti clip on it because it does tend to move around just a little bit. Uh, just, but the weight of this one really keeps it seated well. And uh, also still rocking the... The good old Vismix tactical belt. Gotta love that. And uh, yeah, I do have the Kenneth Cole reaction jeans on. I've talked about these in another video, guys, but I love them because they have like, two watch pockets on this side. One of them's up here. Oh, wait, sorry. There's two watch pockets on this side. And then on this side... You got another good size normal watch pocket and an extra one up here right up by, by your waistline. So they have a ton of pockets. Um, it gives you a lot of options just to carry things even if you don't carry like a pocket organizer or anything like that. So um, yeah, let's take a closer look at uh, what we got on body. Okay, guys, we're here at the top down view. Just wanted to really quick, you know, just tell you a couple of the uh, different things that I'm carrying this week. 
obviously, you know, normally I have the Taurus G2C on me. And, uh, you know, for this one, I just kind of wanted to show off the uh, Shanique. But, uh, yeah, I really love that Balder BL. And uh, you can see with the Vismix tactical belt and then with the uh, Gun and Flower holster, very easy to carry that concealed. I'm a bigger guy, so, you know, like larger guns are is easier for bigger guys to conceal usually. So i uh, not trying to brag, but I'm just saying. Of course, I do still have the uh, pocket platform. And uh, this is just a constant carry for me. You know, um, right now I got the D1, the Odical D1 driver over here. Got a Mech Force pin, SOG power leader, an Olight I3T, and a Flatanium fly bar. And, uh, you know, that fits just right easily inside my pocket, keeps that stuff right where I just know where everything is. It's awesome. This week, uh, still carrying the Remet Rhino. Like I said, I've got a review coming up of this knife, but uh, very impressed with this knife, and especially for the price point. If you guys aren't familiar with Remet, definitely should check them out. Rocking a new wallet this week. Uh, you know, last week I told you guys that I really was kind of wanting to find something, you know, uh, just a little different. I had been carrying the same wallet for a long time. I've been carrying that Mirrodin, Mirrodin tactical wallet. And um, this one's by Fidelo. This is their minimalist wallet. And uh, I'm super impressed with it so far. I'll let, it's got the card advance button down here, which pushes all your cards out for you. You have two pockets on the outside. It does come with some money straps. And another neat thing is you can take this internal case out and actually carry that by itself as, as your wallet. And then you have a super minimalist style wallet going on there. So, yeah, that's super cool. Really like that. It's a lot slimmer than my other wallet. And uh, I'm digging that about it. And I do. it does, of course, you know, I had to swap the, uh, the O-card back over into this one and uh right now i've got i don't normally carry this many but just to see how many i could fit in it i've got six cards in there um, i believe it would probably fit one more maybe but yeah keeps them super secure loving that fidelo wallet like i said i've got a um, unboxing and sort of a first impressions video coming out on that one so be sure and look for that one the vismix tactical belt still wearing that still love it you know oh hank always got that the lighter bro pro Always got that one on me. A little bit different of a fixed blade this week. I've got the uh, Huao, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm really not 100% sure. I need to look it up. But uh, it's a it's basically a copy of the Tour Anaconda that I was been trying trying out. Um, I know you guys, if you've been watching, you know that I've been trying to trying to just find the perfect EDC fixed blade for me. And uh, this one is just darn close. I really like it. And um, carrying it in the old uh, warrior poet style underneath the belt there. Going to have to get a new clip for this one. I've got a uh, ulti clip slim coming. This clip is just way, way, way too big for that. But uh, yeah, really digging this knife. And this is just almost perfect for an EDC fixed blade for me. Um, it's a real good balance between a working knife and a self-defense knife, small arms retention knife. So... Uh, yeah, let me give me my final thoughts and uh, let's get to that weekend. So, yeah, guys, not a lot of uh, changes this week or maybe maybe there were quite a few changes. Um, you know, the wallet to me, I'm really, really loving this Fidelo wallet. Uh, definitely check out the uh, unboxing and first impressions video I got coming up on that one. I'll, I'll get into the features of it a little bit more. I don't want to drag this one out too long, but this knife. Guys, I'm absolutely loving this, and I, I've, I've got to get my hands on a, either a Tor Anaconda or a Tor Serpent because just, yeah. <clears throat> so start saving up for that one right now. Got the full size on me this week. You know, I, I, like, to, I like to carry the compact, um, but every once in a while I like to carry the full size too. You know, just really depends on, on how you're feeling for the day or maybe what situations you're going to be in, you know, that you might need. Uh, a little more, a little more firepower as it were. So anyway, guys, smash that like button down below. Leave me a like in the comments. Let me know what you're carrying this week, guys. I want to hear back from you. Go over to Instagram at Average Gear Review. I don't know if it's here or here. I always screw it up. Uh, <laughs> go over to Average Gear Review at Instagram, all lowercase, and tag, use the hashtag TGIF Pocket Dump. 
I really want to see what you guys are carrying. Really, uh, thanks a lot for following along with me on this EDC journey and being with me on another Friday evening. You guys, uh, here's your safety briefing. Don't drink and drive. Be aware of identity theft. Watch out for credit card skimmers on machines and on gas pumps, things like that. If there's a loose piece on the outside that'll come off, definitely don't use your card there. So, uh, yeah. Otherwise, guys, always be caring. And remember, the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average Gear Reviewer, I'm out of here. Average Gear Review. But the best gear is the gear you have on you.